The check memory use component checks the current memory use of processes on the server. The results can either be written to a file or returned as properties on data records. This example will output to an HTML table viewer. Before running the protocol, let's review the parameters for the check memory use component. The message parameter is a short text identifier to assist you in identifying which log memory use component generated a particular message. Process name is the name or names of processes to consider. Multiple names can be given as a comma-separated list. If this parameter is left blank, all processes are returned. If the keep only largest process with name parameter is set to true, then when multiple processes exist with the same process name, only the one with the largest virtual memory is kept. This assists in tracking memory growth when it occurs in one of a set of identically named processes. The include pool info parameter indicates whether to include object pooling information in the output. Pooling information can be quite voluminous, so the default for this is to not include pooling. To write the results to a file, you enter the results file name in the log file name parameter. If no name is entered, the results are returned out the passport. When you enter a log file name, the delete log file when initialized parameter becomes available. If set to true, then the component tries to delete the log file when initialized. This is useful when you are debugging a protocol using a number of these components and wish to ensure a clean file when starting. Click the Resources button for this course for more information.